I want to come back to God and I'm not coming back to religion. I'm not coming back to people. I'm not coming back to be controlled. I'm coming back to have a relationship with my father that's that's in heaven. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, so we are talking about how to come back to God after either leaving the church or backsliding or whatever the situation may be. So uh, this was in my spirit today and I wanted to talk about it. So I took some notes. So if I'm looking over, I'm looking at my laptop, I'm looking at my phone and I got my Bible right here. A few scriptures to give too also so um before we go into the video before we get into what we're going to talk about today um i just wanted to encourage you like know who you are in god and this was something that uh god encouraged me with today just today i was encouraged with this but know who you are in god don't let no one like discourage you like don't feel like you have to um cover up your anointing or cover up who you are in god to make somebody that may not be there or make other people feel better about where they are like if god has anointed you to do a certain thing like go after that and do that in the power of the lord so that's what we're talking about today like how to come back to god after you have left god or left the church or or have backsliding like how do i come back to god so i took some notes on talking about how you know we can get back to god because sometimes uh we have left god and we're still sitting in the church like we're left god but we're still operating in the church in some kind of way but we have left that uh intimacy with god we have lost that relationship with god and we want to try to get back to that point and sometimes we feel like we're too far gone or i've done too much i i've been in some stuff that i should not have been in and i don't know how to get back to god i don't know how to press my way back to god but you can press your way back to god you can get back in that place that you need to be you know and so we don't want to just be in positions in ministry or you know doing things in ministry and we're we don't have a relationship with god we want to make sure we are you know everything we do we do because god is calling us to do it we can hear god and we know that god is calling us to that certain thing so the first thing in the first way to get back to god after you've left god is to repent that i mean that's for everybody like we all have to repent we all have to come to god with the heart of repentance and repenting is just saying that you know i'm i'm changing i'm turning around and i'm changing my mind about the things that i have been doing you know what I'm saying i know that that is not it does not please god and so i don't want to be on that side anymore i want to be on the side of the lord you know and i want to do the things that's pleasing to the lord so those things i'm turning away from those things i am letting go you know and my I let it go in my heart because it has to start on the inside of you first. You know, sometimes like we uh, give our lives to God and, and, and we know in the inside we don't want to do this certain thing. And then we find ourselves right back doing it. And we're like, what in the world? <laughs> you know, and it's like you, God knows your heart. And so he knows that, you know, he's going to bring you out. But you, it has to start in your heart. You have to make that decision in your heart, your mind that, hey, I'm going to let these things go. I don't want to, I want to come back to God and I'm not coming back to religion. I'm not coming back to people. I'm not coming back to be controlled. I'm coming back to have a relationship with my father that's that's in heaven. And so um, that's the first thing we want to do is repent. Uh, X, X. So X chapter 3 verses 19 says to repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Repentance is always in order. It's the first thing we must do. We have to change our mind about the things that we have gotten into, about our current situation so that we can get out of it. So repentance. The second thing is ask someone in leadership or someone you trust to pray with you and for you. Um, this is so important to me and this is why I surround myself that, with people who love God because I love the benefits that comes with it. I love having people I can call when I'm down or when I need encouragement or when I just need somebody to uh, pray with me or pray for me about some, somebody to stand in a gap for me about a certain thing. And it can be a person in leadership, but it has to be somebody that you trust. It has to be somebody that, you know, you can go to 
um, humbly and sincerely and say, look, I'm not in that place of God that y'all probably think I am in, or I have left and I'm, I'm coming back because I, I got myself into some stuff and or, or I just got discouraged or, you know, I allowed life to pull me away. I, I allowed, uh, you know, things that I went through circumstances to pull me away. And I want to come back and I want to be in that place with God. Can you pray with me? Can you pray for me? Can you lift me up in your prayers? So we all, we all need that. We all need a person that can stand in a gap for us, you know? And so, and God has people out there for that. God uses people just for that purpose, you know, to be like standing in a gap for people, to encourage people, lift them up, to pray for them, to pray them through, you know, the, the Bible says the prayers of a righteous man availeth much and that is something to say about those people that are righteous that are standing in that place with God that are standing in those relationships with God and so you want to make sure you connect with someone like I said it needs to be someone you can trust it has to be someone you can trust because you can't trust everybody and it's sad to say today but you cannot trust everybody we have to be honest about where we are as a church and everybody in the church cannot be trusted you know it's those people that you know are walking with God you see it you know it you know that they're you can see the fruit you know of their labor so also still on the topic of an accent I want to pray for you in James chapter 5 verses 16 it says to confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed the effective prayer fervent prayer of a righteous man avail it's much this is telling us that you know it's okay to confess your you know your sins to other other people that are in the faith People that you trust. I cannot express that enough. People that you trust, okay? Also, the next thing that we must do to uh, when we have um, lost our way with God and we're trying to get back to God, the, the next thing that we have to do is we have to fast. Fasting is in order. It's not just something we do in January at the beginning of the month because everybody in the world is doing it. But it's the uh, uh, fasting should be a lifestyle. It should be like a lifestyle. It's something that I live. I live to fast. Like I live to be closer to God because fasting uh, reconnects you to God when you have been disconnected from God by certain things. Because God never leaves us, but we leave God when we're pulled away by certain things. So fasting plugs us back in with the father you know and then when we're plugged back in with the father we can hear the father you know our spirit is is open to hear him and to receive him and we have direction and we know what to do and what not to do fasting is something that all believers should do but if you're really trying to get back to that place of God like when the people when when Jonah when God sent Jonah to the people of Niv Nivea and you know and told them they need to go on a fast like those people have been disconnected from uh, with God and he wanted to rekindle that relationship so he wanted them to go on a fast he knew that you uh, not feeding your flesh was the only way that you can get back to that place with me the only way that I would receive you back and he was going to destroy them the people in Nivea he was going to destroy them but he changed his mind about destroying them because they sacrificed themselves they humbled themselves to fast and to get in God's face so that they can get back in the relationship with God that is like one of the biggest things that the most important thing that not just people who are trying to get back in that place with God, but people who want to stay in that place with God, you got to stay fast and you got to stay praying, you know, you got to stay in that place with God. And so Joel chapter two, verses 12 says, now, therefore says the Lord, turn to me with all your heart with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. And this is so good because God is saying, that is, that is how you come to me. That is how you turn your heart to me. You do it with fasting, you do it with weeping, you, you humble yourself. And the last thing is connected to fasting, but it's to seek the Lord. It's to seek the Lord's face. And to seek means to desire God. And so we don't have to look for God. So we're not like searching for him because God is with us and he'll never leave us nor forsake us. But we have to desire him. And the more that we desire him, the more more we can encounter him the more we're pulling towards him so first chronicles chapter 16 verse 11 says to seek the lord and his strength seek his face 
evermore. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face. Desire to see the Lord. Desire to have that strength from the Lord because all of your strength is going to come from the Lord. Like you cannot do this by yourself. You can't like try to get in that place with God by yourself. You can't try to like, oh, let me clean myself up and then I'm going to come to the Lord. Seek the Lord. Seek his face. You know, seek his word. And, uh, and the biggest thing to do is try to get in the word. Like really get in the word. Not just get in the word. You have to get in the prayer. And like I said, you need to be fasting to get yourself. Uh, many of us have experienced like that backsliding state or, or like drawing, like allowing the world and the things of the world to like draw us out of that place of God. And when, it's, and when you're a believer, you know how important it is to not get so caught up into the things of the world you know how powerful those things is who that can draw you away but god is more powerful so if we stay in him then we can uh stay in that place but it's okay if you have left that place the most important thing is because you're watching this video, you desire to get back in that place. And that's what God wants us to do to encourage people to get back in that place. It's not to put people down. It's not to talk about people. It's not to judge people, but it's to encourage them to, hey, the time is near and we have to get back into that place in God that God wants us to be, that place that we desire them, that we desire God, that place that we have intimacy with God, that place that we can love on God and God can love on us. You know, it's like a place of safety. God says, I will be a refuge for you. A refuge is a safety place. Like it's, it's not just a place you can hide in, but it's a place that's it's protection. It's protection all around you, and that's where we want to be in God in this season. So I'm, I'm, praying, I'm happy that you desi that you're thinking about getting back in that place. Like my, you know, and God is excited. The angels in heaven is excited. You know, a lot of people won't won't get to this point where they desire to get back in the in that place. with Lord, seek the Lord, and you will find Him. Desire the Lord, and you will find Him in this hour. So I thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and support this channel so that I can put out more videos. And I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to my next video. Y'all have a blessed day.